Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you my December Marked As To Read video. <music> who are maybe new my marked as to read videos is a series of videos that i do each month where i just talk about the books that i was inspired to mark as to read on goodreads over the past month so these aren't tbr books i don't own them i'm not saying that i'm going to get to them anytime soon um they're just kind of anticipated but they're not necessarily new releases i mean a lot of them are but they're not necessarily new releases they're just books that i've heard about over the past month that i'm interested in reading at some point in the future so let's jump in and talk about what the books are where i heard about them and why i'm interested in them so the first book is one that i heard about um from simon over at savage reads um this one he has been raving about quite a lot recently and that is unfollow a journey from hatred to hope by megan phelps roper so this is a non-fiction and it's about um megan's um story she was involved in the oh what's the family called westboro is it westboro church which is a um louis thoreau if you know um the documentary maker did a documentary about this calling them the most hated family in america they're a very very religious group but a very like hate-filled religious group basically um they um are against gay people and war veterans and like all kinds of things and are picketed at like gay weddings and all of that type of thing and it's about her story of being involved in that she was the granddaughter of the founder of that church or cult or whatever um and about her journey of being in that and then her journey of coming out of that cult and realizing that it's not where she wanted to be with her life um simon has raved about it it sounds super interesting so i marked that one as to read I then have two books that I heard about in a Goodreads blog post that was for the December, like most anticipated reads of December. The first of those was The Wives by Taryn Fisher. You guys have probably seen this one going around booktube over the past month. This is a thriller and it's got a really interesting premise because it's about a man who I think it's got, he's got two or three wives, um, but they know about each other. But then I think it's about that there's maybe another wife that the others don't know about or something and their secrets and I don't know it just sounded kind of interesting I've always been interested in Taryn Fisher's um like books uh she's got like a bunch of books that I'm interested in reading so I'm interested in this one as well and then also from that blog post there was a book called The Dead Girls Club by Damien Angelica Walters this is a horror thriller um and it's about a group of girls in the 90s who were involved in a dead girls club so i think they talked about like horror movies and serial killers and true crime and all kinds of spooky scary things but also like supernatural things and there was this thing that they used to talk about called the red lady which was a spirit of like a vengeful witch um and then one of the girls dies and then it's like 30 years later and i think it's all kind of coming back up again the red ladies maybe come back the red lady's real i don't know it all sounded very interesting like i said the part that some of it's like from the 90s because i am a 90s kid i grew up in the 90s um and it's like horror thriller with some supernatural it just sounded very interesting um and so i marked it as to read um the next one is one that i heard about uh, originally i've seen a few people talk about it now but i first heard about it um over at books and lala's channel and that is the how and the why by cynthia hand i have read i think it's just one book by cynthia hand it's her book the last time we say goodbye which i loved um i read that a few years ago and this is another hard hitting contemporary which the last time we said goodbye was as well i believe this is about a woman who is a, oh, not a woman a girl because ya i believe who is giving a baby so we're following two timelines we're following a girl who is pregnant and is may has made the decision to give her baby up for adoption and i believe she is writing letters to that future child kind of explaining her decision and all of that type of thing so we're following that but then we're also following that baby in the future well in the future like in her time period when she's like 16 uh, years old and we're following her story as well and i think discovering about her birth mother and all of this type of thing i don't know i've heard pretty positive things about it and like i say i really did love um cynthia hands i've got a really itchy forehead for some reason um i really did enjoy reading her um other hard-hitting contemporary so interested in picking that one up 
Uh, we then have a book that I heard about from Emma over at Emma Books. She did a video um, recently on the books that she doesn't talk about enough on her channel. And she talked about a book called It, w it Wasn't Always Like This by Joy Preble, which I had never really, I don't think I'd ever heard of before. It's a YA time travel romance, which I am a bit of a sucker for a good time travel romance every now and again. I believe it's about two families that I think it's set in like the 1900s, early 1900s originally. And it's about two families who have both taken some kind of medicine or something that has meant that they now don't age. And I believe there's a romance between like the daughter of one family and the son of the other. But then um, all, both families are slaughtered except for the two who are like in the romance and they're now on the run. So it's kind of got that element, but there's a romance as well. It just sounded very interesting. Like I said, I'd never even heard of it before. Um, and Emma was talking about it as books that she doesn't talk about enough that she really loved, like back in the day that she doesn't talk about enough. So I was intrigued. So amongst that one is to read. Uh, next is a romance that I um, heard Riley Marie talk about. I mentioned in my, uh, book haul that I am interested in reading more romance in 2020. Romance used to be like the main genre. Like for a while, like for a few years, it was like the genre that I read the most from. I used to devour like Harlequin, Mills and Boone books. Like I just would read one after the other, after the other, after the other. I would just devour them. Um, and I rarely read just like straight up romance anymore. And I do want to get back into it and like, just like, you know, pebble some more romance into my reading in 2020. Um, and she talked about this um, romance on her channel, Riley did, and it sounded really interesting. And that is Hate to Want You by Alicia Ray. So I believe it's basically a second chance romance with some kind of family themes, which really intrigued me. And I think it might be a smutty read as well, which I really do enjoy a good smutty read every now and again. And I very rarely read, like I dabble in and out of erotica, I think I have on this channel. Yeah, I know, because I definitely read that cartel series, which wasn't good, but I read it. Um, But I don't, like I used to read a lot of smutty romance and I rarely read it anymore. So yeah, like I say I do enjoy a good smutty romance every now and again. I think this one might be smutty. Anyway, um, it's basically I think about a a guy and a girl who had some kind of romance when they were teenagers and they're now not together anymore, but they do have one night together every year. But then it's now been several years of that kind of happening of their one night together. But now the female is returning to the town where they grew up and it's all kind of bringing everything back up again. I say it just sounded very interesting. Like I say, I'm interested in dabbling into some more romance, particularly probably smutty romance. So yeah. Uh, the next two books are ones that I just marked as Shuri based purely off kind of buzz, hearing the buzz about them. Um, the first of those is Know My Name by Chanel Miller. So this is a non-fiction book by Chanel Miller, who is the, um, well, I don't want to categorize her as a victim, but she is the woman who was raped by Brock Turner. Um, the, I kind of followed it, it obviously happened in America. I did follow it kind of at a distance um, when it was happening. Brock Turner was a swim star, I think it like Yale or someone like that, like a prestigious Ivy League school from what I understand. And he raped Chanel behind a dumpster and was given a hugely disgustingly lenient sentence um and it was like a big deal because he was a big sporting star all of that and um Chanel this is Miss Chanel Miller's story basically because I believe at the time she didn't want to be known like she didn't want her name wasn't released as the victim and all of that and now she is owning that and coming forward and like obviously the title know my name um and like this has got a lot to do with her like kind of victim impact statement or that type of thing like I say obviously right up my alley I love rape fiction I love rape non-fiction anything that deals with kind of rape culture and all of that in our society I'm very interested in so I'm definitely interested in that one and then the next one is Miracle Creek by Angie Kim which is one that I've heard about for a while um and just for some reason hadn't marked it as to read yet um and it did get nominated for the Goodreads Choice Awards um for thrillers this past month so that kind of brought it up on my radar again so this is a courtroom thriller from what I understand which I love a good courtroom thriller I'm into every type of thriller some people are only into like domestic or psychological or anything crime into it legal into it medical into it psychological into it domestic I'm into all the kinds of thrillers um and I believe this one is about a family who of Asian Americans who have a autistic child who I think might be like an old, it's not like a young child anymore. I don't think, I think it might be like a teenager or something. I'm not sure. Even an adult child, I'm not sure. Who is killed along with some other people in some kind of explosion of some kind of medical apparatus. And I think the mother of that 
uh, who like owned the medical equipment is on trial for the murder it's all kind of complicated i'm not exactly sure of the details but it's been getting really positive buzz and like i say i do love a courtroom drama so i'm definitely interested in reading that one uh next is another book that was from a goodreads blog post this one was about the most read books in december they started doing this regularly each month this blog post which i really find interesting about the books that um being marked as read most like during that month um and this was a true crime book and it's called if you tell a true story of murder family secrets and the unbreakable bonds of sisterhood by greg olsen so it's true crime about three sisters who grew up in like a horribly abusive household with their mother that's all i kind of really know about it the synopsis kind of alludes to something about people like p other people from the outside being brought into the abuse i'm not really sure exactly what that means but it just sounded very intriguing like i said i do enjoy a good crime um true crime every now and again uh next we have another um recommendation uh from riley marie and that is a lesson in thorns by sierra simone now this one i was intrigued about because it is a hugely smutty romance and i believe it involves polyamory which i don't think i've ever read about in a romance before so that's interesting the thing that hooked me into this one is that it's a murder mystery involving secret societies which hello yes but then it also happens to be like a smutty polyamory romance and a bunch of the reviews on goodreads that i saw were just people raving about how great the sex scenes were in this book so color me intrigued also this cover like what even is happening it's very interesting so i'm definitely intrigued by that one uh next we have another book that i heard about on um simon from savage reads channel and that is the adventures the adventures of maud west lady detective by Susanna stapleton now this is one where we just prove like how dumb i can be sometimes because i marked this as to read because simon had it in his best non-fiction reads of uh, 2019 and i had heard him talk about it a lot but didn't realize for some unknown reason until that video that this was non-fiction i thought this was fiction for some reason just like a fun rompy story about a lady detective no no this is non-fiction about a real life lady detective like a historical lady detective i am so into reading about that and for some reason i just didn't even realize it was non-fiction so i marked that one as to read and then the final book that I marked as to read um, this past month is one that I heard about um, from Tia over at Tia and all, sorry, Tia and the books, Tia and the books, Tia and all the books. I think it's Tia and all the books. Um, and that was um, another nonfiction read. And that is Jane Austen, at, Jane Austen at Home by Lucy Worsley. So this is nonfiction about Jane Austen's life. I believe it kind of focuses on Jane Austen's life and what was happening to her and like what her circumstances were at the time of publishing like her different novels and kind of how you know what was happening in her life kind of um informed what was what she wrote about in her books I'm very intrigued by that I'm a big Jane Austen fan I've read all of her um published novels Pride and Prejudice one of my favorite books of all time um, so I'm definitely very interested in reading that. Like Tia had it in her uh, favorite nonfiction of 2019 as well, I believe. So definitely intrigued by that book. So that's it. Those are the 12 books that I marked as to read in December. I will have a links down below to all of the channels that I mentioned for you guys to check out if you're interested in finding some people to recommend books because these are people who recommended me books over the past month and I will also have um links to the books down below for you guys to check out um I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below if you've read any of these books if you've got any thoughts on any of them or if you want to recommend me any more books I love me some good recommendations so let's chat down below please like this video if you liked it please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel that is all I have for this video today Bye, guys.